Live from Jurassic World, the Insane Board Game Freak Show, your host, me, the Insane Board Game Freak, on Scar, I did it. In this episode, get all your dinos to safety. Lava balls block getaways. Escape disaster in this epic 3D game. Jurassic World Volcano Escape. Quick, to the board game room, to the boat. We gotta get off this island. To the board game room. You know the deal. And now we all sing. On the count of three. One, two, three. All right now, here we go. It's Jurassic World Volcano Escape. And here we go. You got your um, dinosaurs here. I don't know what they're called, I forget. But anyway, it's it. Uh, those are your raptors, velociraptors, your triceratops, and your stegosauruses. And there's the T Rex. <laughs> Okay, that was my bad impersonation for T-Rex. Then you get these marbles here that are used as lava balls. And here's the volcano. And there's my lump of dirty clothes. All right, so anyway, um, yeah, I gotta do laundry, folks. <laughs> you, you all probably like who watched the show is probably like, yeah, it's been like that for uh, episodes now, Vin, since the beginning of the first episode. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now you can get these boats, right? Blue boat. Green boat, green boat, light green boat, and a yellow boat. All right. So now you're also gonna get this die. Okay. So now this die, you're gonna roll it, and um, no, they're gonna make pumpernickel bread out of it. What'd you think? Okay. So now you can roll a two, three. Uh, four, five, six, and the one is the T-Rex. Now, I'm going to show you what that does in a minute. Um, now, the player one, toss the die and move one of your dinosaurs, the number of spaces indicated on a die. Okay, now, if you roll the T-Rex, you're going to put the T-Rex mover on any one of the five round spaces on the volcano. Okay, see these spaces? Those are the round spaces. On the volcano, okay. Now um, you're gonna take these off the board, but I just don't want to lose them and have them roll all the place, so I just kept them there for the time being. So anyway, um, you'll want to put it on a space in the path of your opponent's pieces. So, um, for example, like um, you got the raptor here, something like that. Then you want to put it on one of the you know spaces as um. The raptors on so it can catch them. So now, um, and then your opponent cannot move that that piece until they roll a T Rex on their next turns. So their turn ends here. Okay. So if you if a T Rex somebody puts a T Rex on you or over T Rex lands on you by die roll instead of um you know the uh, opponent or something like that. Now. You lose your turn and you're stuck there like that. You're frozen there until you roll another T-Rex on the die. Okay? So now, um, however, whenever anyone rolls a T-Rex, if somebody else different rolls a T-Rex, then that T-Rex is going to move. Even if it's not the player whose piece is currently blocked by the T-Rex dinosaur piece, the T-Rex game piece 
must be moved to another round space in the volcano. So it'll go here. It would go here, you know, whatever, wherever. So now, um, play continues in this manner, moving the moving to the player on the left. Now, once you have at least one dinosaur in play, on each subsequent turn, there's that word again, folks. That I have uh, trouble pronouncing sometimes. Subsequent turn, you may choose to roll the die and move the number of spaces indicated, or you can um or you can um roll the die and whatever number is shown you're going to put that number of lava balls into the volcano they will roll down paths at random only the pieces piece of pieces on the volcano that get knocked down by a lava ball go back to their respective start space okay so if you get knocked down by a lava ball, by the ramp, if you're here, because this counts as a space, that's, like, for example, one, two, three, okay? And then, you know, if you land on that, you got to drop a lava ball in there, okay? So now, um, to win, be the first player to get all your dinosaurs across the island and into their boat to safety. So you're going to make your way going around the board and then going to the blue spot over here for the raptors in the blue boat. Dark green for the triceratops, light green for the stegosaurus, and yellow for the, um, I don't know, um, the goose-like looking like dinosaurs or whatever. Because they are geese now. I mean, they evolved, you know. So, um, but that's basically it. I mean... You know, um, you're going to choose a color of dinosaur that you want to be, and uh, the color indicates your dinosaur starting space and the boat you'll use. Slide each of the dinosaur pieces in the stands. Uh, you're going to start at the starting spaces, and um, set up your boat, the coastline there in the spots, like so. You know, green with green, so on and so forth. And then you're going to... Um, uh, place a T-Rex mover in the round space in the volcano closest to the blue boat. So that's that one right there. Closest to the blue boat. So now, um... Uh... If a player is blocked by a T-Rex and does not roll a T-Rex on one of their next two turns, they must move their game piece back to their original start space and their turn ends. Only if you are blocked into your start space by a T-Rex, you must roll a T-Rex within your next two turns to move it. Or if you do not roll a T-Rex within two turns, on your third turn, you may move the T-Rex to another location and your turn ends here. Just to make it fair and square, like, you know, so you get moving into the game. Um, you do not need to roll the exact number of spaces to move onto the boat. And, uh... That's basically it. So the first person to make a round with all the dinosaurs to the to their matching color player marker boat uh, wins the game, and that's Jurassic World Volcano Escape game. Now let's go up top. Let me see. Tell you about what I think about the game. Oh, I gotta show you what happens with the uh, with the marbles. I almost forgot the. Like, that would be cool, right? Alright, so here we go, folks. Put the marble in there. Oh, and it hit the stegosaurus. <laughs> Alright, let's go up top. I'll tell you what I think about the game. Alright, so. What do I think about this game? I think this game is cool. I think this game is really fun. I forgot my sunglasses. I really want to put them on right now and talk to you. All right, that's better. Now, yeah, the Volcano Escape game, uh, Jurassic World Volcano Escape game is really cool. I like the lava ball part, and um, the suspense in that is really cool because um, it's fun to drop the lava ball and see where the lava ball is going to go, if it's going to hit you or your opponent. Um... And uh, I like rolling the, the uh, T-Rex because then you get to move the T-Rex onto 
your opponent and then your opponent freezes there and until it it rolls or somebody else rolls a t-rex and then the t-rex moves again so rolling the t-rex is kind of fun i like loading up all the dinosaurs in a boat and have them sail away and uh then if you want you could sing the song from enya sail away sail away sail away dun, 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 dun. sail away sail away sail sorry i had a moment there of nostalgia um so anyway, um, that's pretty much basically it. I think that's really cool. There's a toy volcano that um, launches out marbles from the ramps and stuff from the top of the lava. The lava balls look really cool, like actual lava balls. It's a cool, fun game. It's a big game, big board, colorful, fun fun to play. That's the... Um, anything else I forgot? Well, um, sorry. But anyway, it's a, it's a cool game. I just think that it would have been more cooler if, if they would have had miniatures instead of um, standees. But I think that they might have had like a harder time to knock down the uh, standees, uh, the the miniatures with the lava balls. You know, because the lava balls aren't really that heavy to knock down a miniature. It would be more, they're more of a certain like good enough weight to knock down the um, stegosaurus or the uh, standees. You know, the cardboard standees. But I don't know. I mean, it didn't really knock down the stegosaurus, but you could tell it hit it. So you just tip it over yourself, and that's it. But anyway, it's it. It's a cool, fun game. I like it. Good for kids and the whole family. Um, got it for 10 bucks on sale at a store. You know, uh, that's pretty much basically it. <laughs> well, that's uh, Volcano es Jurassic World, Jurassic, uh, Jurassic World, Volcano Escape. That's it, everybody. Looks like this game is over. Board game freak out. Roar. <laughs>